So why did you decide to spend the last 20 years studying the near death experience? Well, I used to work as a nurse in intensive care and it was very early on in my career as a nurse that I was looking after a patient who was clearly dying. And during that night shift when I was looking after him, we made a connection and it's almost as if I swapped places with him and I could understand what he was going through and what he was feeling. And I was just completely shocked and it really upset me and um, I couldn't really do any, it was on my mind constantly and so I started thinking about death. I had to look for some nursing courses that were available that would have helped me to deal with caring for dying patients in a critical care area but I found there was nothing of, that was suitable. It was all like palliative care which is very different to critical care and so I started reading about death and um, then I came across near-death experiences and I thought, oh, this is really interesting. These people are saying that death is a lovely experience, it's nothing to be afraid of. But I think I was a little bit hesitant and sceptical because of um, because my training as a nurse was very scientific and so I'd always been led to believe that these experiences were just hallucinations. And so the more I read about near-death experiences, the more curious I became. And so I started chatting with patients and asking them if they remembered anything. And none of them remembered anything. And then I came across a, a few who said, well, I didn't remember anything this time, but many years ago I had this experience. And they told me about their near-death experiences. And so I decided, right, well, I'm working in a perfect place to study these experiences. And I just kind of took it from there, really. similar to other altered states of consciousness as well you know some people could access this altered state of consciousness through meditation for example doing a peak experience of meditative practice or taking drugs such as LSD and things or DMT and I think what these are doing they're all accessing that same altered state of consciousness but the near-death experience is more profound because it's very unexpected and spontaneous you can't plan to go and have a near-death experience it's just something that happens out of the blue whereas with the other experiences such as meditation and the ingestion of drugs people do that with some form of expectation they kind of know what they're letting themselves in for whereas the near-death experience some people have never even heard of these experiences yet they describe something and it's all very similar what these people describe is very very similar although each really experience is very unique bit of a rapport and she said to me do you know she said when I was in the coronary care unit I went to heaven and I said oh all right okay not really realizing what she was saying and she described that she'd left her body and she was looking down from above and she'd gone into this place and uh, like a little meadow and met her dead mother and she said oh it, it was lovely it was a lovely experience and at the time I just thought oh perhaps she's had too much diamorphine and I didn't think much of it I listened to her but I never questioned her about it but it's only on reflection at some point she reported a near-death experience there but I think with my study as well, I looked at hallucinations because when you work in intensive care, you see patients hallucinating very, very frequently. Uh, very often patients will become unmanageable. Perhaps they'll try and remove some of the equipment, take the tubes out, take the wires away. Uh, they'll try and climb out of bed, but they're totally bizarre and irrational. 
And so what I did was I followed up these patients as well and I asked them to describe what they remembered. And when I investigated the experiences of the people who'd been hallucinating, it was all kind of attributable to the background noise. So they could hear the alarms in the background, they could hear staff conversation, they could hear other things going on. And they kind of put two and two together and made seven. So what do you think the wisdom of near-death experiences is in a nutshell? For me, it's the message that it brings, which is treat others as you would wish to be treated yourself. And you can't go wrong if you do that. If you're nice to other people, and if everyone was like that, think of how different the world would be.